Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Wednesday, May, no, it is Wednesday, April the 5th, 2023, Wednesday of Holy Week. Um, back at St. Francis again, our Memorial Garden, where there, there it is, my picture of it around me over here. We're getting ready for our final um, community mass uh, with our school, the Franciscan School, uh, for the season of Lent, and the last mass of, uh, before Easter break, and then the first mass, actually, of April. So uh, all together, uh, celebrating uh, with our Franciscan School uh, this, this morning. Um, after a wonderful Christmas Mass, way too long, two and a half hours, that is way too long for Christmas Mass, uh, but, uh, but everybody seemed to have enjoyed it in one way or another, and the oils were blessed and were distributed, and that was what it was all about. So um, on this Wednesday of Holy Week, our last day uh, for daily Mass um, until the Easter season. Uh, tomorrow, there's only one Mass that should be held on Holy Thursday, and that should be held in the evening. Um, and so uh, no morning Masses uh, until um, Easter week after... Um, after today. Uh, so uh, today we recap again uh, the reading from Isaiah that we heard on Palm Sunday. That first reading today is the same first reading from Isaiah um, in which um, the uh, again the suffering servant um, endures uh, the the, the, the uh, pain and degradation and the uh, insults and the fears and the terrors of those who do not want to listen to what it is uh, that the servant has to say about God and about ourselves. But the whole idea behind it um, is that the servant will be vindicated. Uh, that one, when one speaks for God, even if one experiences uh, pain and sorrow because of it, uh, one's words will not go empty. One's words will always uh, fulfill what it is that God uh, wants them to fulfill, that God speaks through us. Um, important to remember, uh, while God's promises may take a long time in coming, and it may seem at times as if they are not going to ever come to pass or come true, God's promises can never ever be um, just eliminated or disappear or be erased or, um, or, or anything else. Uh, that would destroy them, that would hurt them. God's promises need to be fulfilled because they are from God. And what God says will be done, will be done. Suffering does not end in suffering. Suffering is not um, pointless. Suffering is something that allows us to continue our trust in who God is and continue our trust in what it is that God uh, will deliver us from. Um, God does not initiate suffering. God does not uh, desire that we suffer. Um, but again, God can turn that suffering um, into hope and into glory. Um, and the call of the suffer the suffering servant, the uh, words of the suffering servant are to give us courage in those times. Today is also known as Spy Wednesday in tradition, generally Anglo-Saxon tradition. It was called Spy Wednesday because our gospel for today is the foretelling of Judas's betrayal of Jesus. Um, again, a sort of back and forth between Jesus at the final supper that Jesus will have with his friends. Um, without ever coming out and saying that you are going to betray me, Judas kind of admits that he will be. Um, the important thing about it is that Jesus does not say, you know, I hate you. Again, better for that person never to have been born, um, Jesus will say. Uh, but there is never this sense of hate and uh, basically uh, making Jesus, uh, uh, by making Judas be, portray, betray Jesus, making uh, Judas kind of into uh, somebody who uh, seems to have more power than Jesus does. Um, it is the sense in which whatever was prompting Judas to decide that um, what Jesus was doing was not going to work and what Jesus was trying to open up in our hearts and our minds was not going to last um, is something again that leads to Judas making choices uh, that move in directions that unfortunately um, were not the way he expected them to go again God gives us choices all the time God leaves choices in front of us all the time so that we have become the people that we are meant to become listening to those choices and understanding the choices that come from God and the choices unfortunately that will come from our own misguided notions of ourselves and our hearts is what living a Christian life is all about being able to understand that, being able to uh, move forward with that, being able to uh, be people who um, can navigate through all of that is really um, what, what we are called to do, what we are called to be. Hopefully this Lenten season, as we draw to its close, this is the 39th day of Lent, by the way, um, it is has been a time in which we can better see um, what are the choices before us in our faith and how to make those choices that allow that faith to grow, to flourish, and to transform the face of the earth. A continued uh, blessed Holy Week, uh, St. Francis and people of God, may the Lord give you his peace.